Hello, so today I'm a little bit late to my location that I was coming to but that's purely because I stopped to have a cup of tea with someone for about an hour. Photography can be a bit isolating, can't it? A bit lonely sometimes. And I felt like that just an hour having a brew with someone was really worthwhile, nice conversation. But it does mean I'm late and I am meeting someone later on to shoot a secondary vlog. So I'm a bit short on time. I'm already a little bit out of breath. But I'm here at my location. The location is near Rivington and there's two waterfalls quite close to each other. I'm a Yorkshireman, so I love a good bargain, two for the price of one. Brilliant. So I'm just going to follow the river, the stream, upwards and try and find these two waterfalls. The stream is lovely. It's really peaceful and I'm hoping that even though I've only got a few bits and pieces with me, I've come quite stripped back today in my smaller bag. I'm hoping that I can get some really nice shots. So let's see what we can do. The only thing about these falls is that they're a little bit off the beaten track. Well, a lot off the beaten track. Down some quite steep ledges. So access to them isn't particularly easy. But I'm hoping it's worthwhile because for the pictures that I've seen of them, you probably hear it now, I'm pretty much right above it, it's just trying to find the way down. The pictures that I've seen of them are beautiful. And there's been a lot of rain over the past few days. The sun's come out today, it's lovely, but there's been a lot of rain. So hopefully, well there is, there's no hope about it. There's a lot of water coming through these falls today. So it's just a case of getting down there. I do, I need to be on the other side. So let's have a look and see how we can get there. Well, I found the first waterfall. However, I really need to be on the other side of the river for decent access to it, really. So I'm gonna head upstream because the next waterfall's further up. Try and get the top fall first and then see if there's a way to get onto the other side further up. There is a way further down, but obviously I've walked past that, so we'll see what happens. But what a beautiful waterfall. There's a set of five. You could probably get four in a picture. Lovely, beautiful, really peaceful. So let's see if we can find this other one. Okay, I'm a little bit sweaty. It's been a little bit of a walk up and down, up and down, trying to find vantage points and try to actually find the falls but good stuff has happened i found the upper falls that was after looks beautiful but then just around the corner there's a third one as well which is stunning so i'm going to get my gear out get a picture of this get a picture of that next one head back downstream on this side because i'm on the right side now get a picture of the third one and then hopefully i'll have three stunning images in the can great morning's work This composition is now at 2.15 and we need to get to 2.30 and see what happens. I have got a 10 stop on. I'm just going to see what it looks like. It's, if it's anything like I'm seeing through my eyes, it's beautiful. So we're at 2.25 and then we'll stop it at 2.30. Here we go. Wonderful, beautiful location. There's a little bit of red in there as well. The sun is just piercing through the through the treetops and just capturing a little bit of the stone and it's a brownie red and it's just adding to the photo which is lovely so i'm going to go change my composition a little bit change the shot i might change the angle as well and get a little, a little bit tighter maybe portrait because it's quite high but this is the first one of hopefully three and here it is
So I've come to this second fall, which is just around the corner. Again, beautiful. I'm just setting off a shot, which is quite low down to the falls. Getting in a bit of, bit of the rocks and the boulders at the bottom, but getting the, the height of this fall as well, because it's quite wide. It's, it's, a bit, it's a bit square, actually. It's probably as wide as it is high, but it's beautiful once again. There's obviously people that come down here because there's fires and cans of beer and stuff, empty cans of beer. So coming here in an evening probably isn't a good idea. However, you don't really need to come here in an evening because you need the light. You can't really get a sunset here. The sun keeps coming in and out, but again, all to myself, which is lovely. If there were other people here, fantastic, but it's lovely to have a place all to yourself. I am running late though because I'm taking quite a while to get these compositions, to get these beautiful shots. And this one's just coming to an end, so I'll have to, I'll have to stop it, excuse me. Sorry about that, just setting off another one now. And then I'm gonna come back here a little bit, I think. Back past the little burnt out fire pits and try and get the waterfall and some of this stream as well, because there's still movement in the stream. It's the water's hopping over rocks as it heads downstream. So if I can get all of that in one shot, that'd be beautiful. It's nice to see other people exploring the area as well, because a, a chap just came past and he's scrambling up the, up the sides now. But I'm just getting another shot, as I said, a bit further down the, from the falls to sort of try and encompass and include the movement in this river. There's a lovely, there's a lovely bend in the water in my foreground and then we've got the big dominating waterfall in the background which is lovely so that's two down one to go i think the last one's going to be the, the hardest one to to access but two in the can here are the pictures Okay, really, really happy with those shots. On to the next and final waterfall. Let's go. I've just had a bit of a slip and a fall. And I've broken my tripod. I am a little bit gutted because as you know, this tripod has been with me for 15 something years. Oh, still usable. I can still use it today. I need to clean my lens and probably scrape some dirt out my knee. But I'm okay. It could have been a lot worse. So let's find this third one. What I was going to say before my fall then is that this is a lovely place for some woodland photography. I've been watching Simon Baxter a lot recently and he's really inspirational with woodland. I'm not going to do any today because I'm concentrating on the waterfalls, but I'll definitely come back here. There's some lovely trees. I managed to scramble down there, over there, to this final waterfall. And it's totally worth it. It's worth having a broken tripod. It's worth having a little bit of blood coming out my knee. It's worth being muddy and having to clean my gear. This location is stunning. All three locations that I've been to today, all three waterfalls within the same 10 minute walk, all feeding the same reservoir. Stunning totally worth coming out as you know I love shooting waterfalls and when you find somewhere like this which is just inspiring I've not been out in two weeks but I just feel that fire that I always talk about that fire inside me that's there I'm setting off some long exposures they've all been about two minutes today I think two minutes with the 10 stop with a little bit of sunlight it's quite dark but the sunlight peeking through above making little patches. I think two minutes is about right. 
So let's go and switch this one off when it reaches two minutes, which is in 10 seconds. Might take one more after that, and then we'll be calling it a day. I need to scramble back out as well. Let's have a look and see what this one's like. 55, 56, 57, 58, two minutes. Beautiful. Probably a bit too long. I might do a minute and a half because there's some highlights because the sun is peeking through, as I said. But there's so much water. I don't think it would have been as good if over the last few days we didn't have so much rain. We've had loads of rain. My road was like a river the other day. But yeah, what a location. I'll put all three in the, in the link below on Google Maps. I also can't remember the names of all three. So I'll put that below as well. Completely stunning, absolutely fantastic. Shoved to bits. I'm just setting this second shot off and then I'm going to be on my way. But it's lovely, I've got this, the waterfall kind of comes in from the top right hand side of the, of the composition and then moves its way downstream, it's beautiful. So again, about a minute and a half I think, because I think it's a little bit brighter over here than it was further upstream, there's a lot less trees. Although we are still quite overlooked by all these cliffs and sides and stuff. But yeah, wonderful. Really happy. And here are the pictures. So that is me for today. Please like, subscribe and comment. I'll reply to all comments and I really appreciate you watching, subscribing and liking the video and everything like that. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.